What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Spin Tires Mudrunner on Xbox One, and we are going to be going back into single player and looking at one of the maps that we have unlocked. We've also unlocked some new vehicles. So they said in the end of in the end of the last episode when we beat that map um, that we had some new vehicles and maps, and it looks like see the thing is I didn't completely remember which vehicles that were locked before but we only have one more to do before we unlock the c uh 65111 and let's see um if we go into the bog oh dude seashore is open and i'll leave island alone for now because island what i'll do is i'll do island kind of on my own um or i might do it in like a stream or something on xbox because i'm playing through island in the pc version right now like that those are the videos on the pc version um that i'm doing are being done on island so we're gonna go straight to seashore start it up and see see how it actually goes so we're starting with a, a uaz a b131 and a Wait, 469. Yeah, okay. We're just making sure that was the same one. So, oh, this is what we unlocked. A C4310. So, a little bit bigger of a 6x6. That's cool. I'll go ahead and run the... Aww. Oh, boy. Boy. All right. Two balance points. Yeah. Dang it. Okay, well... We could run that, but those are, like, dismally slow. And they don't really have that much capability. So, we'll have to run, like, two B131s. And I don't want to do that, but it looks like we may have to do it. So, um, let's see. Deliver logs to each lumber mill. Complete to earn an additional progression point. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and get Seashore going and see what it looks like and see how it plays. Alright, so we have arrived on Seashore, and I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of exploring. A little bit of exploring and see what this map is like. Now, before we go anywhere, let's go ahead and outfit this thing with a spare wheel for repair points and a trunk with repair points as well. So we got the diff lock on, we got all-wheel drive on, let's set off and see what we've got here. And then once we've uh, explored a little bit, we'll come back and get the trucks and actually get to work. Ooh, a beach. Yes. Oh, I'm totally up for, like, coming out here and doing a little bit of, like... Oh, yeah, driving this thing along the beach. Wow, damn, that's really soft sand. Okay. Be careful in that. You wouldn't want to bring a big, heavy truck out here. You might end up uh, in a slightly iffy position, sir. Yes, a slightly iffy position, but it's okay, because, I don't know, because you're playing spin tires, I, I don't know, but the, <laughs> but the water actually looks much better than before. You can see a lot further out from the coastline, and also, you can see those rocks in the water underneath the water line, which is also really, really cool. You didn't used to be able to see those. Oh, that was a little sketchy. Little UAZ bouncing around like mad. Yes, cockpit view time. Easy to drive. Really easy to drive. Like, you just put... Dude, you just put all-wheel drive on, put div lock on, and you can freaking go. Like, oh, there's the edge of the map. Okay. Well, we came up on that actually pretty quick. A lot quicker than I expected us to. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is it, like, the tree branch that messed it up? Because it literally just stopped in its tracks. And it stopped very unnaturally, too. I wonder if I hit, like, the edge of the map a little bit before you're actually supposed to hit it. Nah, I mean, she gets grip. There she goes. She gets grip. A couple of trees popping in, but that's no big deal. Yeah, this is, like, legit exploring at this point. Like, we are way away from any roads. The game's like, why are you out here? You are not supposed to be here, you blithering idiot. What's the map look like at this point? Alright, we got a fuel station over here. We got a log station here. We got a watch point, a garage, lumber mill out there. And then we got some trucks down here, another garage down there. Ooh! So we've got one, two, three garages, and one, two lumber mills. So this map may take a little bit longer 
to beat. So what I'll probably do with this map is I will deliver a load to each one, and then I'll probably complete them outside of my Let's Play, so you guys don't have to, see, like, so you guys don't have to watch me deliver them to the same place twice. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and keep going. Actually, I want to see if I go into advanced mode... Okay, it does fix it visually. I just wanted to make sure it fixed it visually and not just in terms of points themselves. Good spot for a fuel station. We don't necessarily need fuel right now, but still nice to know it's there. I kind of want to unlock the cloaking point straight away so I know 100% what's going on with the map um, and so I know where to drive because I feel like that's the biggest mistake I made with the other map, uh, with the bog was I was like, yeah, I'll just go ahead and set off in the logging trucks, and that's fine, you can do that, but sometimes that can come back to bite you if you don't have, a, like, if you don't have the map uncloaked, because you find yourself having to uh, use your logging truck, sometimes when it's fully loaded, as a support vehicle, and that doesn't always work. So, where are we at? We are right here. So then, log station is here. And the watch point is out there. I'm thinking we'll just follow that road. We'll just follow that road and hope that it leads to a watch point. Because honestly, they usually do. Like, they're not that far off the road from what I've seen so far. They're not that far off the road. Uh, oh god. If I can please carry on right over that, that would be brilliant and lovely. Thank you so much. And really also... It's kind of one of those things where it's like, if we find a route that works really well, we'll use it. If we find a route that looks good, and we test it out, and it's actually not good at all, then we won't send the log trucks down it. So, it's it, it pays off uh, to do all of this scouting. It really, really does. So, there's your log station, and it should just... You should just be able to drive through it. It looks like it's got... Yeah, so you literally just drive in, load up, drive out. You don't even have to turn around. Which is super convenient, especially if you've got a bigger truck. You can just drive through here, no problem, and be done with it. I really want to unlock that blue UAZ, because that thing, oh man, that thing is awesome looking. It's like, it's all like, it's lifted, it's got big tires, it's ready to, it's like ready to work, it's ready to rock. I wonder if we should be getting close to one at this point. Because we're getting there. It's just... I don't see one yet. I don't even see any indication of one yet. Oh, uh, what's it look like up on the map? Okay, yeah, no, we're not actually not even close. We gotta make a... Yeah, we gotta make a left right here. And actually, we could have gotten here a lot quicker if we didn't go on that beach adventure. But never mind that. The beach adventure was fun, okay? Ah, uh, my diff is getting caught on the rocks. It's always like, if, if you're... When you have smaller tires, if you sink in the mud and you, and you don't know there's rocks there, and then the rocks, like, surprise you when they hang your diff up, it, it kind of sucks because your wheels, your well, your wheels and tires are spinning because you have no traction in the mud, but also you're not moving anyway because your axles are hung on rocks, and that's always, that, that, that's never fun. Is that another trail, or just a, okay, no, it just stops. Yo, 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 oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Oh. okay, I tried to save it, I really did, but it didn't, uh, Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on. Yes, I know the engine has stalled. I know. I know. Man, I wonder if it'll if I wonder if it'll start to kind of like work its way back onto its wheels. That would be awesome if it did, but it's kind of a toss-up right now, and I kind of don't want to just leave it either, because if I just leave it, it could float down. Like, it legit could float down river. Oh, here we go. Drive into it. Drive into it. Oh, drive into it. Yes, I get it. I get it. I know. 
I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh my god, okay, it's safe. For now. Woo! There we go. 34, 30, oh my god, we could legit fix this entire thing right here, right now. Let's save those 34 just in case. Just in case we need them. And let me go to release the winch and then attach that winch over there. And I'm going to reverse because it looks like this crossing might be a whole lot harder than I originally expected. Like it might be a, a lot trickier than because like I looked at it. I was like, oh, it's just like a little river crossing. It's a lot more than that. I mean, dare I chance it? Seriously. The whole point of coming out here was to do recon, though. Oh, that's even deeper. Oh, my God. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and see if there's any, uh, any, any spot along this crossing that's shallow enough for me to kind of... Nope, it's definitely not there. But that's shallow enough for me to just work my way across nice and easy... And just get everything. You know what? You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna freaking do it. I'm going to freaking do it. Oh. Oh my god. The current is. The current washed it away. Oh my god. The current legitimately washed our vehicle away. It would not do that in the first game. Holy cow. That is totally different. I am not used to that. I am not used to that at all. That's a lot more hardcore than I'm used to for spin tires. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm going to grab a... Uh, I'm going to grab one of these. And since we have two of them, one can be a logging truck and the other... The other is going to be... A... Where is my... Where is my repair uh, utility? There we go. It's gonna say it's time for a it's time for a repair truck because oh my god, like we need one right now. We really, 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 really need one right now, and not even a repair truck, but more like a rescue truck is what this thing is for. And once we get down there. Really, all I'm going to do is barrel this thing through the river, get it across the river so it's good, pull the UAZ to the other side, and then fix any damage that the UAZ has kind of incurred up to this point. Nice thing is that it's really not that far away from the main garage. I mean, we kind of took a little bit of a side sideway there, but, I mean, it's no big deal. Oh, God. I, I was kind of aimed a little funny for that bridge. I was like, please don't go off here and flip. I would just be like, really? At this point, I would be like, really, dude? Really, dude? All right. Uh, What are we looking for here? We got... All right. We just got to stay on this road. That is all we got to do. We just got to stay on this road, and we're golden until we get to the UAZ. And then the UAZ is golden. Oh, for God's sake, you just love stopping to switch gears, don't you? Just around the corner. I'll run over that tree real quick. <laughs> I'm just like, eh, we'll run over the tree. No big deal. In the UAZ, that would have been a bounce. Like, the whole thing would have bounced. This thing, not even, like, it won't even hear of it. Like, it doesn't come even, even close. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just run your way through that real quick. Yeah. All right, here's here's the crossing in question. And there's the slightly sad UAZ on its side. All right, let's barrel through this. Come on. Yo, that is so crazy. I doubt it has the capacity to flip one of these, though. Yeah, I was like, there's no way. If it flips one of these, I don't know what we're going to do. All right, let's see if we can get in a good position to pull that thing. Should be plenty close enough here. Winch source, and... Actually, that's perfect, because we may be able to just pull it over. 
Yeah, we can just pull it over. And then now it should kind of auto drive. There we go. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, release and repair. That's what, six? Yeah, okay, so that thing's good now. Uh, let's see, stop engine, change truck, grab the UAZ again, and keep up with the adventure. So, oh god, if we can just take the parking brake off, that'd be lovely. We'd be, uh, we'd be a lot more effective that way. <laughs> we'd be, uh, actually, a whole hell of a lot more effective if we took the parking brake off. But, dude, we literally just got into the, like, into the vicinity of this watch point. But then again, I think, you know, the good thing about it is that once we actually, you know, find that watch point, it will be, ooh, hey, a road, like a paved road. That's a surprise. Like, actually, once we find that watch point, it'll be a totally different story. Totally freaking different. Um, which way should we go? I say left. I don't know if left will lead us directly to, you know, the area we need to, oh god, directly to the area we need to be in, but if not, I have no problem with kind of going trailblazing to get to it. Uh, if we turn right, right here, and go straight, and trailblaze a little bit, we will get to that cloaking point, and that is the whole point of a small, nimble scout vehicle, is to literally be able to go you know, to do this, go trailblazing, you know, go go through the woods where there are no trails and figure, you know, figure out the lay of the land. All right, come on. Like a pond, not a lake, certainly not a lake. Pond, yes, lake, no. And this is why I love Quick Winch. This is why I absolutely adore Quick Winch, actually. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh? That, that one's fine. I just need to be able to recenter the truck. Or, well, the UAZ. Why are you pulling from the side? I really don't want you to pull from the side. I, that's not where you need to be pulling from. <laughs> not at all where you need to be pulling from. You know what? Release. Release, and I should just be able to kind of... spin the... like, kind of spin it around. Just, you know, make it lose grip and then gain grip back again and just kind of let the back end slide around until we're in the right spot. Oh god, rocks. Oh, God. This may be slightly tricky territory, for, especially for the little UAZ. Uh, let's see. Oh, dude, we're freaking close. And we're actually right on target. Oh, that's really good. I was worried it was going to be on, like, the other side of that rock or something. But no, it looks like we're on our, like, we're, we're good. We're on track. That tree actually just saved us from rolling over. There it is. There it is! Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Boom. All right. Whoa. Okay, that's awesome. So we've got uh, the garage up there on top of that little mountain, which is really cool. There's a block post, so we do have to plan out our route when we start logging. But, uh, but yeah, dude, we'll pick this up in the next episode because I'm actually really, really pumped to keep playing this map. This map is fun. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.